Corpus Christi American Federation of Teachers holding an action in Flower Bluff today, all in protest of a local organization they say might threaten the safety of students and educators. Corpus Christi AFT President Dr. Nancy Vera claims they monitor teachers on social media and want to ban books in school libraries. Brandon Schaff was at the action today and joins us now in studio to explain that for us. Brandon. Yeah, hello, Brian. So CCDF declined to comment today when I showed up to their Flower Bluff office to ask about a workshop that they were doing today to teach how they monitor teachers on social media. Now, in a written statement from the organization, they say that, quote, our local affiliates have been receiving a substantial amount of communication from parents, caretakers, and citizens with concerns about shocking content on teachers' social media, end quote. Now, they go on to say that they believe that social media vetting is quote a matter of course but Dr. Vera says that this is about more than just what's posted online. They're pushing their personal agendas even though they say we're pushing our agenda. Well the fact of the matter is our agenda is the children and the safety of the children in our classroom foremost. As CCDF conducts a workshop at its Flower Bluff office. Corpus Christi AFT President Dr. Nancy Vera organized an action Saturday morning, calling their practices an attack on teachers and children. They're talking about banning all these books. Uh, you know, it's an intellectual type of, of uh, attack. Although CCDF was unwilling to comment to 3 News, nearby Rock City Church leader Marlene Villarreal was. She says she's not affiliated with CCDF but opposes some of the books her 20 grandchildren in Corpus Christi ISD have access to. We have school books that are available to our children in the public school libraries that are blatant pornography. I'm not okay with them opening a book in the public school library in an elementary school and finding pornography. I don't know how anyone can be opposed to that, but that's why I'm here. That's why I'm supporting the removal of these books. Villarreal says she's found at least 40 books in CCISD that she believes have content inappropriate for children. She says those books may even contribute to desensitizing them to sex. It's not to control. It's not to be extreme. It's to protect the hearts and minds of children so they're not groomed. Dr. Vera also says CCDF is teaching people to monitor teachers on social media, saying teachers are reaching out to her in fear and anger, afraid to speak out, and asking her to be a voice for them against CCDF practices. We need to ensure that everyone is safe in the schools, that no one is going to bully or harass teachers or educators or anyone, and especially not our children. And both Dr. Vera and Villarreal say that they want to hear from the other side and have a peaceful discussion about the best course of action. Now, the protests today remain peaceful, and Corpus Christi Police Department officers were there as a precautionary measure, but everything was pretty smooth sailing throughout the morning. Brian.